Mic check. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So, like many of you, I've had a lot of Zoom meetings these past few months, and the timing is kind of a funny thing because I picked up the Logitech C270 webcam just before everything locked down and everybody started working from home. I have a video comparison up for that budget webcam up on my YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the video description below as well as on the YouTube card here if you want to check it out. But if we're going to be perfectly honest, it's you know not the best video quality. It only does 720p. But hey, it was only 20 bucks. Well, at least it was before the Amazon resellers went to town on it. Now you see, part of the reason why I bring this up is that audio quality is arguably just as important, if not even more important, than video quality. This is obviously the case with you know YouTube videos like this or like Twitch streaming, but it's also you know very important when you're on important Zoom conference calls and that sort of thing. So today we'll be comparing the audio quality across four very different microphones. There is the Rode VideoMic Pro, which I have using on my main vlogging camera here. There is the HyperX Cloud Revolver headset that you can hear right here. There is the microphone that is built into the Logitech C270 webcam. Plus there is the Fifine K669B USB microphone. Let's get started. So the first audio test I'm doing here is going to be a probably a familiar one for you. It is the Rode VideoMic Pro that I have attached to my main vlogging camera here. This is the microphone that I use for pretty much almost all of my YouTube videos. So it originally retailed for about $300 and I, I'm using it as the main comparison benchmark for these other three microphones that we'll be talking about in today's video. So you can kind of use this as the de facto standard for where ideally I want my audio quality to be for all of my videos. So this is the HyperX Cloud Revolver headset. They have a whole line of cloud headsets and they provide great audio quality uh, for listening to games and movies and music and all that sort of stuff. Uh, something like this will run you about $100. Uh, I find the audio quality on the microphone to be just kind of okay. I, I know that on some of my Zoom meetings, some of the other people said that I sounded especially quiet compared to the other, other participants. So this gives you uh, a general sense of what you'd sound like if you were using something like the HyperX Cloud Revolver uh, gaming headset with the detachable boom microphone. So the next audio quality test that I'm running here is with the Logitech C270 webcam. There is a microphone that is built directly into this webcam. It's quite a bit louder than what you get on the microphone on a gaming headset like this with the, the HyperX gaming headset. So that is the microphone here on the Logitech C270 webcam. Uh, when I picked it up back in February or March, it was about $30 Canadian or 20 something US, but it is a lot harder to find now because so many people have started working from home these last six or seven months. But you can find probably something comparable, maybe not from the Logitech brand uh, because they are hard to come by, but this gives you a sense of the audio quality you get out of a budget webcam similar to the Logitech C270. And finally, we have the Fifine K669 USB microphone. Uh, people see this kind of as a more budget-oriented alternative to de facto standards like the Blue Snowball or the Blue Yeti. Uh, from what I understand, you could have gotten it for about $30 US in the before times, but with everybody doing more podcasting and Zoom calls and all that kind of stuff, just like everything else, this microphone has gone up in price. I picked it up a couple of weeks ago for $60 Canadian. I, I think you might still be able to find it for $45 US or so. And I find that the audio quality on it is astronomically better than what I'm getting out of the gaming headset or through the webcam. Uh, there is a gain control knob here. I'll throw in some B-roll here so you can see. Uh, but there's a gain control knob that's built directly into the microphone itself. It comes with a tiny little tripod. And, you know, if you want to be extra fancy about it, you can get a mounting arm so you can look like all the fancy podcasters. But this gives you a sense of the audio quality that you get on the Fifines K669B USB microphone. Like I said, I picked it up for about $60 two weeks ago. So at this point, it's pretty obvious which one is the big winner. I'm going to leave the Rode VideoMic Pro kind of out of this discussion. I just used it as a, like a comparison point. It's a different beast because it's something that I attach to my vlogging camera and it's not something I would necessarily connect to my computer. 
So in terms of the microphones that I'd use for something like a Zoom conference call, you can definitely hear the difference between something like the HyperX Cloud Revolver gaming headset with a detachable boom microphone compared to the audio that you get on the built-in mic on the Logitech C270 webcam as compared to the audio that you get on a USB microphone with gain control like the Fifine K669B USB microphone. Realistically, I've had it on my shopping list for the longest time and I've, you know, I had a hard time justifying the purchase, but now that I have it, I really should have spent that $60 a long time ago and picked up this microphone because you can obviously hear a big difference. So even switching between the Fifth Fine audio that you're listening to right now compared to the Rode Video Mic Pro audio, it's uh, quite comparable and it's actually very good. So it, it's really good for if you want to do podcasting, Zoom conference calls, anything on your computer, Twitch streaming, that sort of thing. So. All that being said, I hope this video was useful for all of you out there thinking about what is the best uh, audio solution on your computer, Zoom conference calls, Twitch streaming, YouTube streaming, all that good stuff. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to do all those good things. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Comment below if you have any questions about any of these devices in particular. And uh, I guess that wraps things up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace here and peace here too. Hey there, Editor Michael here. Just wanted to say that the Fit Fine is also great for these sorts of whispering ASMR type videos too. Or the cool podcasting voice. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching.